Welcome to Whitaker Ponds Nature Park. We're in Northeast Portland, and this park is an excellent example of a riparian habitat. A habitat is a place where an animal lives and gets everything it needs to survive. All animals need five things or elements in their habitat. They all need food, water, shelter, space, and oxygen. A riparian habitat includes the land next to water. This place is amazing because we're right by the airport, we're surrounded by busy roads, but animals can find what they need in this habitat. Let's go explore and see what we can find. Check it out, underneath this tree is this little package. It's kind of gray and it has these white things in it. I see that there's these tiny little bones in here. I wonder what it is. This is evidence that an owl uses Whitaker Ponds to get its habitat's needs. Owls eat small things like mice and voles and they can't eat the fur and the bones. So they cough up a little package of the extra bones and furs, and that gives us a clue when we find these that the owls are living and using Whitaker Ponds to get their habitat needs. So I've come across this tree. It's a standing tree, but it's no longer living, so we call it a snag. And I've noticed that there's clues about the animals that use this tree to get their habitat needs. I see these little holes here. They're from woodpeckers. They can peck inside the dead wood to get out insects that are living in there. I also see these wiggly lines, and those are from the larvae of beetles. Now down here, there's something else going on. I see this big chunk is missing, and I see these marks. I wonder what clue this is. Here's a bird's nest that fell out of a tree, and I'm noticing that this bird used the materials from this habitat in order to build its shelter. I noticed grasses and mud. Check this out. I wonder how this happened. I'm noticing a lot of different marks. I noticed these ridges down here. I noticed this bark up here looks really shreddy, and I see all these little parts on the ground. And I'm wondering, did people do this? or was this from an animal? Ducks are a really great example of a riparian animal. They're on the water, they swim and paddle, they find food in the water, and they come on to land. They build their nests on the land, and we can even see where a baby duck has hatched out of its egg and is able to go join its family in the water. There's actually a lot of animals that live in the water. One thing we can do is we can look to see which kind of animals are living in the water, and they can show us how healthy the water here is. And that gives us an indication of how healthy our riparian habitat is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect some of the bugs that live in Whitaker Ponds. We're gonna fill this up just a little bit with some water. And I just have a simple net here. Uh, and I'm gonna submerge it into the pond and I'm gonna start scraping up against some of the plants that are growing out of the water. And then I'm gonna empty it into the bucket here. So I see a couple different types of macro invertebrates in our bucket right now. Right here, we have damselfly. They live part of their lives in the water as larvae, and then when they hatch out as adults, they'll be flying insects. One of the cool things is when they're a larva, their bodies are really specialized, so they have three kind of feathered tails. Those are their gills, so that's how they breathe underwater. There's another macroinvertebrate in here that can swim really fast. That one's called a water boatman. That one actually has these specialized legs that are kind of like boat oars or boat paddles, so they can swim really fast. Those ones don't actually have gills. They'll come to the surface of the water, grab a little air bubble and put it under their belly and then they'll swim back under and they'll use that air while they're underwater. I'm standing at the spot where the water from West Whitaker Ponds flows under this bridge and out to the Columbia Slough. And I've noticed that the water on this side is deep and it's moving really, really slowly. The water, as it comes underneath the bridge, it's lower, it's more shallow. 
and it's starting to move a little bit more. And I'm wondering, what makes the difference between this side and that side? This is a beaver dam. This is evidence that beaver live in this habitat. Beavers have used their strong teeth to chew off small branches and block up the water. Do you remember when we saw the chew marks on the tree? They use the wood for their food, but they also gnaw at trees so that they fall down so they can get to the other branches to build their shelter. Beavers live in a riparian habitat. They use both the land and the water to get their needs. There's all kinds of great riparian habitat all over Portland. Now that you know about what animals need in order to survive in their habitat, go check out a riparian habitat near you.